Hey guys, Sam here from Technologetic, and today we're looking at the latest version of Android, Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean brings with it a whole lot of new features, including Photosphere, which is basically a 3D panorama. On iOS, you have the 2D panorama, which allows you to take a photo from here to here and all in between. With, with Photosphere in Android 4.2, it's basically a 3D panorama. You can take photos here, 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 all different directions, and it will stitch it all together using the gyroscope. It's a very cool feature, and then you can pull up the photos afterwards, and you can move around the photo just using your finger. In line with this, there's also a new camera UI, which brings with it a whole lot of new features, similar to Instagram. Next up, there's multiple user accounts, which is heavily touted in the Nexus 10 marketing material. The Nexus 10 is the Google's new 10-inch uh, tablet, and with it, multiple user accounts allows multiple people in one household or family to use the device and have their own apps, home screen, widgets, and also high scores in games. This is a feature which will obviously allow people to save a lot of money instead of buying a whole lot of new tablet devices they can just use the one and use multiple user accounts. The next feature is Miracast Wireless TV Streaming. Using a dongle which attaches into the HDMI port on your compatible TV, you can wirelessly stream content from your Android device to the TV using this protocol which can be used by more devices than just Android devices. This is similar to AirPlay, except that AirPlay is a closed system whereas Miracast can be used by many different um, providers. Expandable notifications. So when you go into notifications, you can expand them and you can take action from them directly within notifications. This means that you don't have to uh, actually go back into the app to deal with it. You can just send a message straight from there, you can reply to a call, uh, or you can send an email all from within notifications. Another feature is widgets on the home screen, on the lock screen rather. So in the where you have the lock with the um, gesture unlock, you can actually swipe to the left or right and pull up either the camera or say Shazam to bring up a song, or even look at your photos or anything that you'd want to do just quickly without having to log in. There's a new gesture typing keyboard which is similar to swipe except it's a lot quicker to type and it predicts um, it uses the software to predict exactly what you're going to type. So you basically just swipe around your keyboard just like that and it comes up with the words based on where you swiped. Um, obviously if people can get um, can learn how to use this and Google gets their software right, it'll be a lot quicker to type using this keyboard. The final new feature uh, is Google Now enhancements. So Google Now now includes sports scores, package tracking, hotel and flight information and more which can all be found on the Google website. This brings with it a whole lot of new information which you can get without having to do anything. So, thanks for watching this technologetic video about Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. Hopefully it was interesting to you and hopefully your phone will soon support it. Thanks for watching.